So today I have something really interesting to show you. Love, or physical love in particular, is an extremely important part of our lives. It is one of the three essential pillars of our existence, which is why in ancient times they gave it so much importance. They, they treated it as an art form, as a skill, as something that had to be taught by somebody who knew what they were talking about and something that had to be learned with great diligence. And there were lots of different things that we used, different tools that we used to teach the art of love. And one of these was this fabulous little talisman that I picked up the other day. So talismans or lucky charms come in many shapes and sizes. Here you have a fish that is made of some kind of ebonized rosewood or some other dark wood that would have grown in India a long time ago. But this is not just any old fish. This is the fish that graces Kamdev's banner, Kamdev, the god of love, love and desire. This is the symbol that appears on his flag. So we already know that this is an object that you would have used to wish someone good luck in love. But there is much more to this object than just that. This fish opens up to reveal a secret pod with these two beautiful sculptures inside. Now, as you can see from these depictions, there are two lovemaking positions, but they're not just positions. The story behind this goes much deeper. So I want you to notice these are both standing positions. Now, let's start with this one over here. This one is actually known as the clinging vine. This is where the man would lean against a wall or a tree for balance, while the woman would wrap herself around him. And it was up to him to use all of his strength to support her weight and her thrusts. Not an easy task. This one, this one is actually even more difficult. It is known as the willow. It is a semi-standing position. In this one, both the man and the woman get to half sit on something. This position needs a lot of skill because although the man does have, he does not actually have to support her whole weight. He does have a chance to lean against something or sit against something himself. However, there is a bit more distance between them. So he will need excellent technique to bring them both to orgasm. Now, Normally, this kind of talisman or this kind of lucky charm would be given to women, either as bridal gifts or maybe a little later into the marriage, like perhaps after childbirth, to help the woman get back into her physical relationship. But these particular charms were given to young men, specifically by mothers to their sons on the wedding night, to wish the son virility and a long, healthy, happy sex life and to ward off the demons of impotence. And that's what makes this little talisman for me so exquisite and so unusual. 